Section 8. Cause of sun appearing larger when rising and setting than when on the meridian. It is well known that when a light of any kind shines through the dense medium, it will appear larger than when seen through a lighter medium. This will be more remarkable when the medium holds aqueous particles in solution, as in a damp or foggy atmosphere. The light of a gas lamp will seem greater at given distance than it will under ordinary circumstances. In the diagram, figure 30, it is evident that HD is less than H1, H3, or H5. The latter, H5, represents the greater amount of atmosphere which the sun has to shine through when approaching the horizon. And as the air near the earth is both more dense and more damp, or holds more watery particles in solution, the light of the sun must be dilated or enlarged, as well as modified in color. But the enlarged appearance of the sun when rising and setting is only an optical impression as proved by actual measurement. If the angle in the sun or moon must be taken either with a tube or micrometer when they appear so large to the eye in the horizon, the measure is identical when they are in the meridian and appear to the eye and mind but half the size. The apparent distance of the horizon is three or four times greater than the zenith. Hence, the mental mistake of horizontal size for the angular dimensions are equal. The first five degrees is apparently to the eye equal to 10 degrees or 15 degrees at 50 degrees or 60 degrees of elevation. And the first 15 degrees fill a space to the eye equal to a third of the quadrant. This is evidently owing to the, quote, hab habit of sight, end quote, for with an accurate instrument of the measure of five degrees near the horizon is equal to five degrees in the zenith. Those quotes are from Millions of Facts by Sir Richard Phillips, page 537. End of section eight. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time.